Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. As many of you know, my willow trees and elderberry trees that I've been growing this year are very valuable to me. I've loved growing willow trees over the last three years, and I'm so excited for the progress that these willow trees have been making recently. And give you guys a look at a secret weapon that I got sent from Earthman Living Soil that is gonna give these seedlings the boost that they need so they can strengthen up before winter. Let's get at it. First, we have one of the largest elderberries that we have planted. These were all from bare root stock that I got from our city's department. Each year they do a tree sale. And then this year they just happened to be selling some elderberries. So I really wanted to pick those up. I got a bunch of them growing and the other one that is comparable to this size is in a grow bag, an air pruning grow bag. Um, it's like I said, it's just about the same size. I don't have it on this property that's at the in-laws house, but this one itself is doing fantastic. I think this will have no problem going into winter. We do have some damage on some leaves. It just had a hard time acclimating um, into this new soil when we transplanted it, but all of the new growth that it's putting off is looking great. No signs of damage there. So I th I'm not too worried about these sets down here that have some browning going on. I don't think it'll be an issue, but again, to help out with that, we've got a secret tool that we're gonna show you later on in the video. So let's go around over here and show you guys the willows and then the other elderberries. So we have one, two, three, four more elderberries planted over here. These ones aren't doing so well. I just think they were definitely a lot smaller when I planted them. So the initial shock, since they didn't have as much foliage in the first place, is also more hard on them. But we do have the same story with the uh, new sets of leaves here. They are still growing great and I have no sign of damage on them compared to the older ones on the, um, the original rootstock. I do think it is a really good sign that they're throwing up new shoots and new growth everywhere. So they sh should be okay with wintering. Um, generally being right by Lake Michigan, we don't have that harsh of winters in the first place. So I think they'll do just fine. Now on to some of the weeping willows, curly willows, and then basket weaving willows that we have over here, as well as one elderberry that really wasn't doing good from the start. So that's why I've kept it in this pot and it still is not doing good. But here, as you notice, obviously all of these willows are still in the original containers that I put them in as cuttings. The reason being is that I'm not gonna plant these ones this year. I'm gonna let them grow for a year and then plant them afterwards. That way they can build up really, really strong roots. By the time we moved over onto this property and got them here, I just don't think they would have had quite long enough of a growing period in the ground. So that's why I really wanna make sure that these are really happy and healthy and have had a long season of growth before winter. So I will put these into the ground early, early spring. Throughout the winter, I'm going to keep them in the garage and they'll overwinter just fine. Generally, it'll be about 15 degrees or, or warmer um, than the outside temperature in the garage. So that way it's gonna be nice and easy on them and I won't have any damage at all. And these willow trees can also grow for several years in these pots just like this. Um, usually about two years until I would really want to get them transplanted, but realistically they could go even longer than that. Let's take a look at this beauty. Now, normally I would take the lower sections of this plant off, these branches that are branching out here. But since I'm growing these for cuttings, I'm not gonna do this at uh, the point where I normally would. I'm just gonna let them bush out and grow because I'm trying to get as much growth as possible 
out of every one of those. So even our big cuttings are doing great. See, there's a larger cutting right there, larger in diameter. That's doing just as good as any of the small ones. It was kind of a little exper experiment to see if size made any difference and um, it really hasn't. Like the, even the biggest cuttings that I took um, still grew great and some of those were almost one inch in diameter. So um, really no major difference and you could take cuttings, I would say realistically, I would stick about uh, at about half an inch and lower for these willow tree cuttings. So now let's talk about our secret weapon. This mixture that we put in this bottle here is called Massive. Again, by Earthman Living Soil. I'll have the link to his YouTube channel and website in the description below. This stuff is essentially, it's nanonized particles of silica and calcium. And then there's all sorts of other things in there like seaweed, kelp, worm extracts, and then uh, humic and fulvic uh, substances too of vermicompost origin. So this, all of these things, especially the silica and calcium, this is gonna help your, the cells in your plants to be strong. And that's really, really what we need to, in order to make sure that these plants grow well and then are going to survive the winter. Whether or not the roots were strong enough before we started applying this, this application of the foliage spray is really gonna help them out. Calcium and silica and then everything else that's in this is really essential to plant growth. I could get into that deeper, um, but I think maybe I'll save that for a later video. But right now I'll just show you guys what we do with this spray. Since it is nanonized, basically it is water soluble. So it's going to be absorbed right through the plant foliage. So what we've got in this bottle is um, about not quite a little bit less than half of a tablespoon in here. It's one tablespoon per gallon. So in like a, a 32 ounce container of this massive that you get, it treats 64 gallons of foliage spray, which really can give you guys a lot of growth and then a massive jump on the season when growing anything. Um, it's not just for stuff like this. This is specifically made for uh, vegetables in mind too. So if you guys wanna get some good vegetable harvest next year, look into buying some of this stuff. So I'm just going to wet all the foliage just like that and do the same thing on our other elderberries here that are struggling a little bit just get them nice and soaking wet this will really really help those plant cells and structures be strong and then it's also going to be giving it different nutrients that the plant needs so essentially this is like a topical fertilizer and um, growth stimulant for your plants Wow, I've got to get an auto sprayer. My wrist is hurting already. <laughs> I've got to say, guys, I'm very excited to see the continued growth and expansion of our willow trees and then elderberry trees. Of course, we have more fruit trees to come in the future, but you guys are going to have to stay tuned for that. I'm super psyched to get these things into production and uh, start growing them for cuttings too. It is going to be such a fun journey. I hope you guys subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you found it entertaining and possibly even learned a little bit. Happy gardening and we'll see you in the next episode.